The gorilla is one of the closest living relatives to humans. The name gorilla actually refers to four different subspecies of animals. They share 98% of their DNA with humans, and they are smart enough to learn sign language and use tools. Gorillas are far from the wild, violent beasts portrayed in entertainment, and they could even be considered rather shy. The wild population of gorillas is in rapid decline, and they are critically endangered. The average gorilla is as much as four times as strong as a human. Despite their massive size and impressive strength, learn about the strongest animals in the world here. These great apes are primarily vegetarians. Wild gorillas live only 35 years, but the oldest captive gorilla lived until the age of 63. An adult is capable of bending an iron bar with only its hands. These animals are actually quite shy, and they will normally choose to flee if given the opportunity when threatened. Healthy adults have no natural predators. This is an impressively strong animal, and its appearance backs that up. They possess thick chests with wide shoulders and an abdomen that is pushed forward. Adults have long, heavily muscled arms that they use to help propel themselves on their knuckles. Gorillas are covered in black fur except for their faces, hands, and feet. Older males also have bare chests. Adult males develop gray or silver hairs in a saddle pattern on their lower back which is why mature males are often referred to as silverbacks. Mountain gorillas have noticeably longer hair than the other three species. Male gorillas can grow to nearly five and a half feet tall with their weight ranging between 300 and 485 pounds. Females generally stay below 5 feet tall and weigh 150 to 200 pounds. Gorillas living in captivity tend to grow fat and may be much heavier than their wild cousins. The largest recorded gorilla in captivity was Phil of the St. Louis Zoo who died weighing 776 pounds. That's bigger than a grizzly bear. Despite their reputation in the entertainment industry as aggressive, Gorillas are actually quite shy unless threatened or harassed. They live in family groups ranging from six members up to 30 that are led by one or two related silverbacks. Generally, the leadership pair are father and son, but it is not uncommon for brothers to lead a troop. The remainder of the group is comprised of females, infants, and juveniles. They are active during the day and primarily move to feed. While all gorillas inhabit the tropical forests of Africa, the specific habitat of gorillas varies widely depending on which of the subspecies you are talking about. The western lowland gorilla lives in the rainforests between Cameroon and the Congo River. The Cross River Gorilla resides in only a small forest area between Nigeria and Cameroon directly on the Cross River. Grower's Gorilla lives in the rainforests of Congo, and the Mountain Gorilla lives in the mountain forests of the border region of Rwanda, Uganda, and Congo. A group of gorillas is called a troop or a band. A troop claims an area between 1 and 16 square miles and they will walk short distances throughout that territory to feed. Several bands may inhabit the same area without conflict. They will build nests of vegetation every night either on the ground or in trees. The short answer is not much. Leopards possess the ability to kill young animals, but they do not have many opportunities since the young rarely stray far from the adults. Scavengers will eat these animals who die from natural causes or injury, but there are no true predators for healthy gorillas. Eastern gorillas thrive on leaves, shoots, and stalks of many different plants while western gorillas eat more fruit. The western lowland gorilla will smash open termite and ant mounds to eat the insects inside and has been known to eat snails as well. These animals can eat as much as 40 pounds of plant matter per day. As mentioned earlier, the only true predator of these animals is a leopard. 
Leopards don't commonly hunt gorillas due to their sheer size and strength. It makes much more sense for them to focus on less dangerous prey. Sadly, the greatest threat to these animals comes from humans. Exposure to disease, deforestation, trophy hunting, and even subsistence hunting to feed logging crews have all taken a terrible toll on the gorilla population. Since they share 98% of their DNA with humans, many of the diseases that affect our race are also faced by gorilla populations. That is why conservation efforts have focused on eliminating physical contact between humans and wild gorilla populations as their immune systems can't handle the diseases that humans transmit. Females reach sexual maturity around the age of 7 or 8 years old. Their gestational period is approximately eight and a half months long. On average, they give birth to a sole baby every four years or so. Males mature more slowly, and they attain maturity between 12 and 13 years. Upon reaching maturity, males leave the troop and form their own with adult females that they kidnap from other bands during raids. The juveniles of the troop are all fathered by the one or two silverbacks that lead the group. A baby is entirely helpless from birth to around three months and spends a good amount of time being carried in its mother's arms. They also possess the ability to fiercely cling to their mother's chest or back, but they are not able to care for themselves or walk during that time. A baby gorilla weighs only four to five pounds at birth. Wild gorillas live for 35 years while captive animals have been known to live well into their 40s. The oldest known gorilla living in captivity was a female western lowland gorilla named Trudy. She died at the age of 63 in Little Rock Zoo in 2019. She was also believed to be the last captive gorilla in North America that was captured in the wild. All species are currently considered to be critically endangered, and their populations are all in decline. Only 4,000 eastern lowland gorillas and 880 mountain gorillas are estimated to be in the wild. Of both of those groups, only 2,600 are mature adults. Approximately 300,000 western lowland gorillas are living but they are experiencing a double-digit percentage population decline. Only 250 to 300 Cross River gorillas remain in a small region surrounding the Cross River. These animals can be found in almost any major zoo. All gorillas in zoos in the United States are western lowland gorillas, and they were all born in captivity. None of these animals were captured in the wild. Both the Detroit Zoo and the Bronx Zoo are well known for their gorillas.